Up aboard a time-travelling JCB as we join a World War II pilot and a future time cop as they try to rescue Hermann Goering from a pirate. Yes, really. This is Time Flies. A time travel comedy series published in the 1990s, Time Flies was created by Garth Ennis and Philip Bond, the former having jumped from 2080's short-lived sister title Crisis, and the latter coming over from working on Deadline magazine. It concerned the misadventures of a World War II fighter pilot, squadron leader Bertie Sharp, who is recruited by Trace Bullitt, an agent of the time investigation team from the year 3584. Involving time-travelling JCBs and red telephone boxes, parodying boy band Bross and heading straight to hell, literally, Bertie and Trace attempt to recapture Herman Goering from temporal pirate Captain Whitewash and his treacherous sidekick Cutty Osark. Bertie and Trace returned in the sequel, Tempest Fugitive, in which a resurrected Cutty attempts to control reality. This story had actually been shelved for five years before it was published, primarily due to a stipulation from publishers IPC that all work that had been paid for had to be used. And the last four episodes saw Bond replaced by John Beeston, Roger Langridge and Simon Jacob. By this point, Ennis and Bond had moved on to other things. Ennis to his critically acclaimed work on Hellblazer and Preacher, and Bond to Tank Girl and Grant Morrison's Kill Your Boyfriend. Ennis's humour falls a little bit flat, and he's been very vocal in his dislike of the series. But luckily, Bond is very, very good at humour, and his effortlessly cool artwork lifts everything. While it's no classic, it's nonetheless a bit of silly fun. Indeed, the anger that marks Ennis's later work is noticeably missing, and this is a much more affectionate laugh at absurdity. Time Flies was published in 2008, Progs 700 to 711, and the sequel in Progs 1015 to 1023. Both stories were reprinted in 2008 Extreme Edition number 19, which is available from 2008's web shop and apps. But well, we stick with the theme of time next week on the 2080 ABC as we encounter Peter Hogan and Tim Bollard's Time House.